Well guys, welcome back to Vicarage Farm on a very, very cold and blustery day. We are talking 35, 40 mile an hour gusts and a steady 25, 30 mile an hour wind. So apologies as usual for the wind noise, but we always get the wind up here in the, even in the middle of summer. But, but you guys are thinking, he was going in for a up last time. Yeah, I know. Sat with paper knickers and we dressing gown on. An hour and a half before the operation, and he comes in, listens to my chest, and he went, nope, can't have a, any anaesthetic today, so uh, they sent me home. So now it's 2nd of April before I'm booked back in again, so I don't care. I'll give me an extra few days out here in the uh, Vicarage Farm. So I'll be recuperating while the crop's coming up, so that's a bit of luck on my, my part. We can see the clouds racing across the field, so... What we're going to do is get over to the slope field uh, where we found a little hammy from last time and see if there's any more over there. Lovely conditions except for the wind, so uh, let's get muddy. Oh yeah, and uh, usual setup, Equinox, super blue headphones and let's go over there. First signal's a little bit of broken buckle. It's uh, hard work. <laughs> I want to detect when we're back to the wind here. It's just blowing a gale up this slope. Well, it's been going an hour, and this is the first anything it's reasonably in the air, I find. just been getting junk. Looks like a 1700 pewter spoon bowl, a little teaspoon you see, on the back there. Look, nice little figures. That would have been a nice spoon in each day, but I'm absolutely freezing already. And as I said, I'm detecting we'll be back to this wind because it's absolutely terrible on this slope. And <laughs> I don't know how long it'll last, but I'm going to go for it. Well, first hour's gone, and that's the first button with a bullet and that little broken spoon ball. Absolutely terrible. So I might just uh, give this slope field a miss soon, give it another hour, and if nothing else pops out, we'll just move on to the valley field. Absolutely freezing. Mom comes on the hill, and there's my mate again, coming to buzz me. That's right, so it's just a little musket ball. Uh, very clean thing. Well guys, first uh, little spindle whirl of the year. Tiny little one now, you can just see the hole on one side. Through to the top there. It's a little one. It's a more beehive shaped one, so I don't know what age this one could be. Might be Roman, looking at that shape. I'm, uh, trying to keep the camera as steady as possible. We're getting battered with this wind. Well guys, try to protect the mic as best I can. It looks like we've got our first little happy of the day. Just there, just straight to put across. There it was, we've got a little cut quarter. Get in. Oh, off you go. Dropped it. <laughs> I said the, this wind's so bad it just flicks everything away. Oh, there he is. A little cut quarter. So it's a deserted medieval village not far away from here. South facing slope, which I always like to hunt, but this wind is terrible. <laughs> but it's worth it just for that. Do 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 Have it out, get in. He's back again. He's hovering up there. I've got this banger of a signal and just took the boot in there and just seen this come out. I don't know what this is. Could be a shilling. It's got a silver edge but it's strange, it's a bit bent as well, so there's a little body washer. Well guys, out for the afternoon session. Uh, two and a half hours on the tops there and I'm just too cold, so got back to the car, drove down into the farmyard and a few more cups of coffee and warmed up a little bit and a bit less wind down the bottom here. I've come into the mound field in the end. I uh, went to the valley field and just too cold there as well so dropped even further down into the valley. So uh, hopefully we can find a few more bits and pieces. There were a few nice bits out of here over the past and the other side of this mound here is a, there's a little Roman patch so we might work our way around there. We've got about three hours in here so let's give it a go. It looks like we've got a pistol ball. Nice banging signal, one too deep. Uh, looks 
Looks like it's been dropped rather than fired that one. Not a lot there. Well guys, we're on hole cam and there's been very little to film. I've just had that musket ball on a button and that's been it. It's got something down here. So that might be worth uh, having a dig. I'm just going to take the back of it. Not a brilliant signal. But there'll be few and far between so far. So got to have a go. Oh, just a bit of a buckle. Ah, first buckle of the day. Not a very old one really, probably about 1800s if that. Might be a little bit early but I doubt it. But was a Rickage Farm proving hard work today, that's for sure. Well guys, just got the last signal, I've done four hours and I've always been blown over a few times and the wind's getting up and now the rain's on the horizon so I think this will be the last one so we'll just get this a, a little open. Not too promising a signal it wasn't. Just see a lot, probably a lot better. And we finish off with a little four hole button. Oh well, it's been a hard work day today. <laughs> As you can see, there, even the tripod's getting blown around a bit. So let's catch up with you guys at the review. I'm heading off home, cup of coffee, then I'm away. Hi guys, welcome to the review. God, that was windy. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. The little tripod kept blowing over, the fines kept blowing out my hand. It was a wild one. That's a, one of the most extreme windy conditions I've ever detected on. And being on top of that ridge there, uh, it doesn't help. But we did get a few little bits and pieces. So the, some lumps of lead, which is surprising because I've really hammered that, that slope field over, over the last few years. Um, but there's still stuff there. So it's still a big area to cover and you won't, don't cover all of it. Uh, a few shotties, which is usual with a, a shooting state. That's what you expect. Bits of lead. General dross and this uh, stainless steel washer fooled me big time. I thought it was going to be a shilling when I saw it on the edge there. It even had the markings on the side that looked like it was a, a milled one. Yeah, but no, load of rubbish. Fines wise, again, really had to work hard for it. I've got about 20 odd buttons. Uh, nothing fantastic amongst them, just the, the usual dross and the four hole buttons there. A uh, couple of bits of ammunition, big 303. A uh, little uh, pistol ball shot there. The harness ring, very difficult to date them. But they're normally sort of like post medieval ones. Bit and a half of a buckle, spectacle buckle, probably late 1700s that one. Little spoon bowl. Uh, little spindle, well, I reckon that is Roman. I found a few of these on, on the Roman patch in similar shape and size. I'll get that properly ID, but I definitely think that's a little Roman spindle world. Maybe into a you know a sort of Saxon period as well because they were using them still then and the tiny little cut quarter I want a, a good look at this one it's, it's very very worn but I think it's uh, Henry the third long cross it's been cut into quarters there so it's a uh, early 1200s that sort of date 12 12 20 12 to 16 somewhere around that period going up to about 1272 I think Henry the third went to but overall hard work day but you know me I'll carry on out there whatever the weather is uh, you never know what you'll find especially on Vicarage Farm because the history goes back to Celtic times and beyond I even had Stone Age finds there with nice some nice flints I found over the years so by the time you get to watch this I'll probably be getting ready to go in for my knee up and which will mean I'll be out of detecting for a good few months I'll try and get a few other related videos done uh, but it depends on obviously my recovery uh, how my knee goes but the surgeon says don't expect too much much until you get to about four or five months in uh, despite, what, despite what you see on YouTube, uh, it is a long process to recover. But once it's done, I'll be pain free from the arthritis, which is a good thing. So, a little short review. Looking forward to get my knee sorted out and I can get back out there and not be hobbling around the fields and get back into Vicarage Farm. One good thing is the uh, the crops, they're all growing at the moment, so all my good fields are, are covered in crops. I couldn't have got on them anyway, so it's a bit of good timing. So, it's your pal Mal. Thank you for all the, the kind wishes about my forthcoming operation and happy hunting to you all. So I'll catch up with you probably in July, sometime. 
uh, when the roaming fields start becoming back online again. So it's your pal Mal again. Happy ending to y'all. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Thank you to all my old ones for supporting my channel over the years. See you in the next one. Cheers, guys. Thank you.